Well, continuing our breaking news in Pennsylvania, you're seeing the flashing lights of a number of police assets that have descended upon a, a location, a very large field and some thick woods uh, 25 miles north of the command center in Chester County, Pennsylvania, 25 miles north of where the, you know, the escaped killer, Danilo Cavalcante, was last spotted um, in the Longwood Gardens last week. Well, now, you know, he got some wheels and he made some distance and they're after him. They've got an unconfirmed uh, potential sighting at this point. So they have decided Descended on this area, you're watching live as we shoot, uh, you know, video and, and live pictures of the um, of the police assets that are now searching those woods with canines. They've got uh, aerial assets overhead. They've also got, you know, this drone that has been sort of uh, quietly scanning this area, um, as well as, you know, very heavily armed tactical units that are in that field. And I just want to let you know, we also have an unconfirmed report right now that shoes were found in those woods. So that's something we're going to really work hard to try to confirm. I want to bring back Evan Lambert, who's on the ground. He was able to get there within minutes. Are you seeing anything different now, Evan? Well, so... It looks like for both ends, they've kind of blocked. Uh, we may be kind of trapped in here for a little bit. Um, it doesn't look like we can go either way down this road in just in the last few minutes. Uh, but, you know, actually, I was talking about that emergency alert that hit my phone about 10 minutes ago. And that's really where things seem to have escalate with the idea that it's now believed, according to the state police, that he is possibly armed. And so it actually says that the, the last sighting was just about two to three miles north of where we are. So that sounds to be what the epicenter of their investigation is now. This is obviously one part of the perimeter, it seems. And we saw the activity here. But just north of here is the last sighting, according to what the state police pushed out to this county alert system uh, that I was able to sign up for. And likely people in the area got a 911 call to their phones with this information, text, email. Uh, that's how I've gotten it. Uh, again, just reminding you know, people Evan, he might be armed. I'll tell you what, he might be armed. I'll tell you what, I just got some other information on that very um, piece of information. Our Jennifer Koffendoffer, who's a former FBI special agent, uh, 28 years in federal law enforcement, said that she's got an unconfirmed report that he's armed with a 22 uh, caliber weapon with a scope. Let me repeat that. Unconfirmed report that he's not only armed, he's armed with a 22 caliber weapon uh, with a scope. Uh, John Muffler, former U.S. Marshal, uh, worked with many of these guys. I, I think you're still there with me. That's a that's a big piece of information that we've just learned that not only he may be armed, but he may be armed with something that, you know, a long arm that has a scope. And a sight. Yeah, well, yeah, I think that that's if, am I on? I don't know if I'm on. Yeah, that's obviously a big piece of information. Um, an important piece of information for the officers involved. Um, so he is armed. That's what it sounds like. Um, that is a huge hunting community there. I lived literally 10 minutes from that location for, for a long time. Um, so, yeah, that, I'm not surprised if he was in these houses or, or in these sheds that he found something. Um, and it appears, yeah. since your reporter is cut off, that they have that area uh, uh, pretty well surrounded at this point. S surrounded. So uh, I've got only about a minute left, but Joel Lambert, if you're still on with me, former Navy SEAL, host of Discovery Channel's Manhunt, that's a big piece of information. How does that change the metric that he may be armed with a 22 with a scope and a sight? Well, that, that's, that's a huge piece, and that's going to open things up for him. I mean, that's going to make it easier to, to jack a car. It's going to make it easier to acquire the things that he wants, you know, cash and weaponry. <laughs> it's, it's, a persuasive, uh, it's a persuasive argument that he can make now. Um, and of course, you know, the, the, the guys on the ground, the ones that are doing and, and the canines and everyone that's doing all the work and the drones and the, the air assets, you know, knowing that, that he's armed is, uh, is, uh, is, is they've said that they were treating this as he was armed and dangerous. But now that we know for sure he has a weapon, even though it's a small caliber weapon, and I say about small caliber weapons, they're great weapons to get a bigger weapon with. So, changes things yeah. for sure. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting... Other reports confirmed shots fired. I'm, I'm just hearing this now. There's confirmation that there have been shots fired. Uh, this is by a civilian. I'm hearing shots fired by a civilian. I know nothing more than that. I don't know whether that's a civilian firing at the potential escapee or whether they're saying that escapee is a civilian and shots have been fired. Regardless, that's the news that I can bring you. 
We are bringing this report, this live report, to a close right now. But just to remind you, the danger is real. And those who are in this area are being told, lock everything. Lock your doors, your car, everything, and shelter in place. Uh, we'll continue on News Nation to, to cover this remarkable development. Thank you so much for staying with us through this breaking news tonight. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.